let's look at the new file scoped namespaces in C Sharp 10. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in depth perspective on technology. But sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question how do I use this? So that's why I created the 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into this code. Now, I've got a console app, a .NET 6 console app started already, but I want to show off how file scoped namespaces work. Let's start by creating a new class and we'll call this class as class one is fine. Um, or let's call it the old way that we had, we're clear. And if we hit enter, this is the, the standard way that we've all gotten used to creating these classes where we have a namespace and then we have curly braces and then everything lives inside of this open and closing curly brace here. And they're all indented one uh, tab stop or four spaces usually. So that means that all of our code has four spaces from the left, every line, because it's all inside of a namespace. Well, there's a new way of doing this in C Sharp 10. Now to do this, I'm going to show you how to do it with the add new class. But to do that, we need to add an editor config. So if we right click and say new editor config, this, this editor config assigns uh, standard values for a project. So for example, if you'll notice tab size right here is set to four by default and same with indent uh, size. And yes, don't use tabs, use spaces. That's what the default is. And you can change that, but we're gonna go to code styles and code styles Right down here, we have namespace declarations and by default, they're block scoped, but we can change that to file scoped. Hit save. This will not change your old uh, classes. Okay, you'd have to do that manually or through a refactor. And you can do that. You can control dot convert to file scoped namespace. But we're gonna do this by right clicking and saying, add new class and we'll call this new way. And now we have that editor config. Notice that we have our namespace declared on line seven as just the namespace and a semicolon at the end. And then now everything can live at the far left edge of our document. Essentially, this saves us four spaces per line for our entire code file. And it saves us those four spaces of horizontal wasted space. That's really the big deal here is the, the, the space saving. Now, just note that if you're doing the new way with the file scope namespaces, then you can only have one namespace per file, which is a best practice anyway. However, if you decide, Hey, I want to have two namespaces, then you need to convert back to the, the standard way of wrapping everything in curly braces and then you can add your second namespace in the same file. And again, that quick action refactoring. So you control dot, you can convert this back to a block scoped namespace. That's the old way. And if you're on the block scoped, you can control dot to convert this to a file scoped namespace. Okay. So these go back and forth just fine. Again, just note that you cannot have two namespaces in this file scoped namespace style. Okay. That's it for file scope namespaces in C sharp 10. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Do you like this new way? I know it's different than it used to be in C sharp nine, but personally, I'm really a big fan of this because of all the space savings, but let me know down in the comments, what your thoughts are. Also, if you want the source code for today's video, use the link in the description to get that as well. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.